In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to hitch up your travel trailer or your camper to your tow vehicle. Because if I can do it, you can do it too. Hi, Weekend Warrior family. Or if you're new here, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I help us make big memories in small campers. And say it with me, because weekends are just too short. I created a step-by-step -step checklist that I rely on. And hitching up is easy if you follow this checklist step-by-step. -step. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you where you can go get my step-by-step -step hitching up checklist. So you can do this too. So stay tuned for that. Step number one is going to be to disconnect from any hookups that you might be hooked up to, such as sewer, water, or electric. Okay. We're camping at a primitive campground, so we don't have any hookups on this camping trip. Step number two, make sure that your wheel chocks are in place. They should already be in place because you would have left them there from when you unhitched and when you got to the campsite. Step number three, raise the stabilizers. You can use a hand crank or you can use a power drill. Raising the stabilizers goes much quicker using a power drill. Step number four. We're gonna pick up the blocks that were underneath the stabilizers and we're gonna put them away. And in case you're like me and you were wondering, why do we even put these wood blocks underneath the stabilizers? Well, that's to help stabilize the stabilizers and give them some support. Step number five. You need to unlock the ball coupler and you do this by pulling the latch up and back. Step number six. Now we need to raise the hitch jack so that it's higher than the hitch ball. This is the hitch jack and this is the hitch ball. We wanna raise it high enough so the ball has enough clearance to fit underneath. Step number seven. You need to back up your tow vehicle so the hitch ball on your tow vehicle aligns directly underneath the ball coupler on your trailer hitch. When my husband Tom does this, he always makes it look so easy, but this has been the trickiest step for me. And with practice, I'm getting a little bit better each time I do it. Once you think you're close or the ball is directly aligned underneath the coupler, get out of your vehicle to see how you did. I can't believe I got it on the first try. This is definitely a first for me, so my practice must be paying off. Step number eight. Now we need to lower the hitch onto the ball. Keep lowering until the ball settles securely onto the coupler. Step number nine. Now you need to secure the ball in place with the coupler latch. When lifting the latch up and forward, it should lock in place. But if it doesn't, like it's not for me, moving your tow vehicle ahead or back ever so slightly should do the trick. Do you have a hitching up tip to share with me and the rest of this community? I'd love to hear your tip. Let me know in the comment section below. That way we can all learn together. And I always really enjoy reading your comments. Step number 10. We need to put this safety pin in place so that it secures the coupler latch. This is the safety pin. And you slide the rod through the holes on top of the coupler latch and then close it. Next, we need to add the weight distribution bars. But first, in case you missed it, in last Thursday's video, I show you step-by-step -step how to unhitch your trailer when you get to your campsite. And if you missed that video, I'll leave a link to that right up here and in the video description below. So be sure to watch that video after you get done watching this one. Step number 11, we need to attach our weight distribution bars. And how you attach yours may vary a little bit depending on your weight distribution system. In step number 12, we're gonna raise the tongue jack. By doing this, you're raising the weight distribution bars so that they're easier to secure and lock into place. In step number 13, you are gonna lock and secure both weight distribution bars in place. Next, we need to insert the safety pin into the weight distribution bar so the bar never comes loose or comes off. Be 
just like that. I'm really happy about this system we have. And coming up, I've got an installation video that's gonna show you step-by-step step how I installed the Recurve R3 weight distribution with Sway Control System. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss this upcoming video. Next, we need to raise the tongue jack all the way back up. In step number 16, we're going to attach these chains to the tow vehicle. When attaching the safety chains, crisscross them. So for example, the passenger side trailer chain hooks into the driver's side of the hitch. And when you attach the chains, go underneath the tongue of the trailer, not the top. Also, twist them as needed. You do want some slack, but make sure there is at least three to five inches clearance above the ground. Stay tuned because we're almost finished and the last step might just be the most important one. Our next step is to insert the seven way pin and this is what it looks like. You'll notice that one side is flat right there. When attaching it to your tow vehicle, align this flat side with the flat groove plug-in area. And in case you're wondering, this provides your turn signals and brake lights for your trailer. The next step is Attaching the Brake Away Controller. This is a safety measure designed to apply brakes to your trailer if it should ever become unhitched when you're driving down the road. The most important step is still coming up, but first, I wanted to let you know how to get your travel trailer hitching up checklist. Just go to randysadventures.com forward slash hitch up. This checklist will ensure you never miss an important step. I'll also leave this information in the video description below. As I mentioned, this last step just might be the most important. You're going to do your happy dance. Nonetheless, we did it. 